All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by to another video. Sorry for the loud noise, got construction across the street from my house. So today I wanted to go over a few different things, um, including wire gauge sizes, um, types, um, job specific um, circuits, um, amperage, and the type of conductors. So first of all, wire gauge, um, that would be what size the wire is that you are using. So most common used wire would be the uh, 14 gauge right here, which is the color white. Um, and that is good for the 15 amps um, in a house. So things like uh, lights, plugs, basic things like that, living room circuits. And then your yellow wire is for 20 amps and that is uh, used for things mostly in the kitchen for appliances or bathrooms. Um, things like microwaves, refrigerators, um, basic things like that and that need more power. Um, so wire gauge is, um, wire gauge is the <clears throat> size of the conductors. So if you look here, the, if you look right there, well, I can't really see that. Let me see where the camera's at. Um, if you see right here, that is the size of the interior of the copper. So these are copper. Um, so 14 gauge is smaller and the 12, I know it's kind of backwards, the 14 is smaller and the 12 is bigger. Um, so this has a thicker copper wire inside of it than the 14. So um, the wire gauge um, is good for a certain size of amperage. And let me just pull up the chart here so I don't sound stupid. Um, so this is a copper uh, list right here of what the conductor size is and what it is rated for for the amperage. So this 14, like I said, is good for 15 amps in the house or wherever you're using it. And then the 12 is good for the 20 amps. Um, so those are ones that you learn fairly quickly and remember for the rest of your life. Um, you also have the 10 gauge wire, which is would be an orange color. And that has, again, thicker copper wire. So that's rated to give uh, more power for things like your hot water heater um, or um, a few other heavy duty appliances. Um, and then your eight gauge wire, which would be black. And that would be for um, things basically just for your um, range or your stove to give it extra, extra power. Um, so also the 10 wire, like I said, is mainly used for hot water heaters or um, the um, dryers for your washer and dryer. Um, so just for the dryers. Um, but yeah, the dryers are the 10-3 and the um, water heaters are the 10-2. So let me just explain what that is real quick. So like I said, um, the first number, like 12-2, which is this yellow wire, um, the 12 represents the first uh, the first number 12 represents the size of the wire. Uh, so this would be 12 and this would be 14. And then the second number, um, the dash two, um, stands for how many wires are inside of it, not including the ground. So this would be a 14 two. So here's your first wire one and here's your second wire two. So if this was a 14 three, you would have a black, a white, and a red would be your next color. Um, and you would still have your ground the ground isn't counted. Um, sorry, this video is kind of all over the place. I'm going back to my notes here. Um, so I did also get some 14.3 in here um, for when I do some projects. But so like I was saying, you got your wire gauge um, and that determines your um, uh, load and how much um, power you are able to carry. Um, and like when you're doing job sites, um, like if you're doing a house, it's mainly always going to be the same. You got your, your white wire or your 14 gauge wire for your plugs, your lights, living room circuits, things like that. But your 12 wire, yellow wire is going to be for, like I said, the kitchen appliances and stuff like that. Um, stuff that takes more heavy duty. Um, so those are always gonna be the same. But if you go to like a commercial job site and you're doing like apartments, um, the um, stats can change a little bit. You might not be doing 14 gauge and 12, 12 gauge, you might just be, might be doing all 12 gauge wire. It just depends on the specifics of the job site. Um, and then I, got, I already kind of went over the circuits, what um, circuits require what type of power. 
um, and the amperage, I went over that. Um, the, <clears throat> the bigger the wire, the more, wire, the more um, juice that can send to the location of where the electricity is needed, um, the amperage. And then lastly, um, the copper versus the aluminum. So if I was to do, um, the easiest explanation would be if to say, if I was doing an eight gauge wire to the, um, the range or the stove, um, in copper, you can use a smaller wire. Um, so for copper, you would be using a number eight copper, um, to the, sorry, I'm trying to pull up my notes here. Um, so a number eight gauge wire to the stove in copper. And then if you go over to aluminum, which is not even on this chart, um, the copper, the aluminum, sorry, the aluminum would be, you would need to use a bigger size because um, it doesn't, uh, isn't, isn't able to carry as much um, power, isn't rated for that much. So you have to upsize the aluminum one size um, to carry the same amount of power. So an eight gauge copper, and then a number six gauge aluminum to do the range. Um, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully that wasn't too all over the place and you learned some information from that. Um, the wire gauge, the circuits, um, kind of the job specifics of what is required for the wire sizes, the amperage, and the um, copper versus aluminum. So. I'll try to throw anything in the description if I missed it, give you guys some extra information if you wanna look up um, some of these charts for um, wire gauges and sizes, copper versus aluminum and stuff like that. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed and um, want to subscribe and see more videos, make sure to do that. It would help out the channel out. I'd appreciate it. Love to see you guys back in the next video. Don't forget to check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. I'll be doing a live stream later probably and hanging out with you guys, so stay tuned. That'll do it. God bless, have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.